play and guys might separate. Meanwhile, on the other side, Desmond Oliver in his second year coaching ETSU had a tough season a year ago. Feels like he's got some pieces to have some success here in his second season. Dogs have not shot it well from behind the arc. As I say it, <laughs> they bury the jumper. There is Terry Roberts. Good quick closeout by Struthers. Roberts, little floater in the lane is good. Take away by Georgia. Lindsey back the other way, and he'll lay it up and in. The youngster out of Denton, Texas, averaging almost seven a game, and a timeout taken by ETSU. And he said, more confidence on offense. Maybe we're seeing some of that here today. Here's Roberts all the way in for the throwdown. It's a little zone with the backup group in, a little 2-3. It's the same concept, though. We're going to make Georgia make some shots. Nice move by Edder. Oh, up and oh. under move. Reverse layup goes down. Greener has his back to the dribbler, and I'm, I think it confuses the post defender. Do I come up? Do I stay back? Oquindo off the front of the rim. I got a friendly roll. Roberts got off to a quick start, but they've kept him in check here the last six or seven minutes. Corner three is good from Jabri Abdul Rahim. Bridges. Braylon wasn't paying attention to the basketball. He was heading to the rim. Edder lets it go, and that'll miss the mark. Loose ball on the deck. Oquindo throws it up. Don't you like the way or love the way o Oquendo seeks contact? He was six turnovers. Georgia with four. You know, ETSU is manned. They've done a little three-quarter press. They've zoned. Shouldn't that be outlawed in November, changing defenses? <laughs> yes. Roberts. Oquindo. He'll line up a three. Watch back out. Back. Watch out. Trying to do too much off the bounce. Two on the shot clock. One on the shot clock. And that one goes down. Just how they drew it up in the huddle as Justin Hill gets it to Roberts. Three on the shot clock. Little step back. And it's good. That's a two-pointer. Georgia's lead is five. Oquindo. Off to Roberts. Nice move to the basket for Justin Hill, the junior transfer from Longwood. Oquindo, got it. Now this is a, seems like it's a moment in the game that Mike White talked to us about, and there's the answer. Can you handle adversity? King making five of nine from deep, and so far his team really not ready to play defensively there, and that's an easy shot. Back to back, maybe? Hill this time buries it. Bridges goes with the left hand. Yeah, I'm going to get Oquendo a touch somehow. Here's Bridges. When I say that, I'm looking over now. Oquendo's on the bench. No, it was thought, but then you said seven or eight yeah, years ago, yeah, and that yeah. eliminated that. You gotta be ready to catch and shoot. Well, Hill was. Justin Hill. Shot clock at three. Moncrief wide open underneath. What has four? Nice reverse layup from Oquindo. He's up to 16 points. It's just trying to win games, period. Oh. Moncrief will finish it off. We're on the seventh game. You'd think somewhere along the non-conference schedule you'd have already produced that, but they finally get it done today. Oquindo will lead this team with 16 points. He hit four of eight in the, uh, from behind the arc, but his first half was sensational to give Georgia a little bit of breathing room at intermission. And the Dogs hold on. They win for the fifth time this year. They're now five and two. And they rebound from the tough loss to UAB down in Daytona at the Sunshine Slam. Meanwhile, ETSU goes to three and four. We'll try to figure some things out.
as they head back to Johnson City.